in our Photoshop we have we got our width to 200 I'm gonna put a name in here the name that I'm gonna use is smiley face don't worry about this I'm gonna keep it nice and simple because I know that your teacher that who's teaching you must be kind of like boring and you're like what they're not teaching me nothing they don't know that much hey let's just go with me I'll be your teacher today my name is Mr. Skerritt so we're gonna go width we're gonna use 200 don't worry about this extra dot 33 that may come in um, height 200 again and we just use a resolution of 72 we, we, we don't want it too heavy we're just gonna be drawing a, a picture for the sake of you know the school to say can we do a smiley face so here we go we're gonna draw a smiley face uh, color mode uh, RGB and background color white all right first thing we do go to the left hand side you can see we've got a floating tool here we're gonna choose right here uh, we're going to choose the circle. If, you, if, you, if the circle's not up and you've got a rectangle, what you're going to do is just right click on it and then you'll select the Eclipse tool. Come onto your screen and just draw a nice circle by selecting down and have your circle here. So that's our first circle. But the problem is it's black. Let's turn it to, we're going to make it yellow. Okay, down on your right hand side, it's going to be an FX box, like right here. Click, select that FX, blending options. And on your blending options, you're going to get color overlay, color overlay, and just change that from black to our yellow. Okay, so nice yellow here. Select OK and OK again. Our problem is, is that, well, our circle, we're looking at it and we're thinking, what? Well, it's over to the right hand side. We need to move that. So let's just go to the select and change. Look at the top here where the arrow is now. You see auto select. If that's not clicked, highlight it. All right, so this is the Trojan Transform. So if that's not clicked, just click on it and select it. Okay, so then you can then move the box around. You can just move this circle where you need it to go. Now I'm going to leave my circle there. I'm going to go back and correct another circle. And we're going to choose the circle again, and then we're going to place an eye over here. It's come up as yellow. So let's go down to our FX. You can go straight to color overlay. You can click straight on that. Then you can see it's the yellow. I'm going to change that. I'm going to make it red. All right, so it could make it deep red. It could make it deep black. I see what I'm just doing is black. You know, some of you might want to get freaky with your colors. Just choose your blue, choose your green, whatever you want to do for your face. And now you got it selected and it's okay. Okay, now that's one eye. We need another eye. We still use the same tool, but look at this. If I make a little circle inside, it's not going to be neck big enough. I'm going to choose my select button. Then I'll make it go out so it can meet and match. That's the exact size. I'll press select again. Apply the transformation. Move my eye across. I want it to be as even as possible. So let me just take it from there and just move by using the there's an up and down arrow keys which is on your keyboard. You can just use the, the right button just to toggle it across instead of using your, your mouse. And that should be good enough. Yeah, and that will do. And then we six. So we got the select, we're happy with that. We're gonna go to the T. I wanna use a T because right here I wanna put the letter C. Now you can use a capital letter if you want, or your normal, or normal letter. For this, I'm using RAS Light ITC. That's what I'm going to use for my mouth. Okay. Now I'm going to go back to Move Tools, hit the Select button. Now you can see there's uh, some squares that go around it. If I hover slightly over to the left, it changes. The arrow changes. Look. If I'm here, it starts to select. If I go on top of it, it's an arrow. I'll go to the corner of it, I've got it changed. That allows me to do different things. So let me turn it sideways. I'm gonna turn it to the side. Hey, looks like a mouth now, doesn't it? Then I can just open it up and place the mouth where it needs to be. Press select again, apply the transformation again. There's your smiley face that the teacher has asked us to do in KS Free Learning. Okay.
Thank you. That's the end of this tutorial.